Hi, this is Kate from Windy Apps User Support. I'm really glad you made it to part three. Yay! Uh, this video is on how to choose the best model for the spot. Watch part one to see why we need to do it. The models we have in Windy App have very high accuracy, especially for the first few days. The compare mode gives a great overview of what to be expected. Plus it warns you if the weather is too unpredictable. But if you need to go into details, you will need to select one model and ideally it would be the best one on the spot. The big question is, how do we know which one is the best one? Well, the first thing to do would be to check the model that has been updated most recently. Here's how you do it. Open any spot, scroll down and click here for details. Then you have two options. If you have a lot of time on your hands and you're on the spot, the best thing would be to observe the weather and the forecasts. And very soon you will see which model gives the best forecast. If you don't have a lot of time on your hands or you're not on the spot, there's a few things that we recommend. One, use regional models. The best thing about regional models is that they have high spatial resolution, like four kilometers or eight kilometers. And they show you the local weather effects, something that global models that have 25 kilometer resolution just can't do. Number two, ask for advice for current conditions in the local chats. They are available for almost any spot. Three, see which model did best in the past 10 days compared to a wind meter. Here's how you do it. Open the map and click on the wind meter icon. You will see that ECMWF was correct 84% of the time in the last 10 days. Uh, to quickly find uh, the best model for today, iOS users can switch on the live mode on the map. Now you can compare the colors of the wind forecast from different weather providers and the actual wind from wind meters. So you change the weather provider here and then you see which one is a better fit. In this case ECMWF looks like it's a better match. Now that you've identified the best model for the spot, check that you have the correct preset profile that fits your outdoor activity, and then look at what the overall conditions are. Is the temperature comfortable? Is there any rain in the forecast? Uh, what time is the sunset? This will help you choose the spot with the best conditions or choose the best time to go out to a certain spot. That's all on how to choose the best model for the spot. You're very welcome to watch part four on how to use the wind meters in the app. See you soon.